Well, happy Monday, everyone. Sorry, I, there was a technical difficulty, but I figured it out. Um, so today I was talking to a coworker, and thank you, Liz, for allowing me to share this. Um, but she is new to where I work full time, and she took this job because she's worked for Disney for nearly 30 years. And because of the pandemic, she has not been called back to work yet. So currently she's waiting to hear if she's going back to work and back to work at Disney. Um, and she shared with me how she's nervous not knowing what's going to happen because she doesn't want to have to leave this position that she just accepted. Um, but she's been at Disney for so many years. So I was asking her, what I should talk about today on here and then she shared that with me and it sparked this discussion about being nervous about something you don't know the outcome of. Um, so sometimes this stops us from making progress or creates unnecessary worry, fear, and anxiety. Um, and as one of somebody I train with, Bob Heiler, he's a mentor of mine, he calls it the formula for transformation. Um, is when we take a circumstance, we have a thought about it, and that creates our feelings around the situation. If we have a negative thought, we'll have a negative feeling. Um, I've said this in some of my past videos about the formula for transformation, but it's always worth revisiting. So for so many people, especially this year, there is so much fear and uncertainty and things outside of our control. So the only thing we can control is how we react to a circumstance. We can choose to feel that fear of the unknown, but the question is, is that serving you? Probably not. It's natural and human for us to feel uneasy about circumstances we don't know the outcome of. But let's ask ourselves, what's the next step? What is within my control? What thought would better serve me about this circumstance? Um, maybe this is all happening for a reason, even if we don't know what that reason is yet. Things don't happen to us. They happen for us. Um, and that's where faith comes in for a lot of people because it brings them ease and peace of mind in situations and circumstances that someone else controls the outcome of. We can only control our thoughts about the situation. So a couple of great books I recommend reading or listening to, um, to ha how to change your thoughts around circumstances are um, What to Say When You Talk to Yourself and Se The Secret Code of Success. Both of those books dive a little deeper on um, better questions to ask yourself around a situation to help you think of it in more of a positive light and then what to say when you talk to, your, to yourself is um, kind of similar to that but um, I hope that helped a little bit today and I thank you for watching and I will see you next week